God has blessed us with. Because realize that, that it is a gift. Amen? Amen. There's not a friend like the lowly. There's not an hour that he is not near us. No, not one. No, not one. Jesus knows all about our struggles. Like the lowly Jesus, no, not one, no, not one. Amen. Our word comes from the book of Job, the 19th chapter, starting at the 25th verse. Word of God says, For I know that my Redeemer liveth, and that he shall stand in the latter day upon the earth. And though after my skin worms destroy this body, yet in my flesh shall I see God, whom I shall see for myself. My eyes shall behold, and not another, though my reins be consumed within me. Let us pray. Gracious and all wise God, our Heavenly Father. Our creator and our sustainer, we come. We come now, Lord, for death has invaded the ranks of this family. Lord, we pray that you will be with his wife and his children and his family, Lord, that you will hold them together. Lord, when they call on you in the midnight hour, God, I pray that you will come by and ease their tears and, and dry up all the pains and the sorrow. But Lord, I pray right now that you will give them joy, the joy of a life well lived. And Lord, this memory that they have, precious memories, how they linger how they will ever flood our souls. And Lord, we pray that you will go with us and stand by us through this service. And whatever they're standing in need of, I pray that you will provide. For the songwriter said, Great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, new mercies I see. All that I have needed, thy hand has provided. Great is thy faithfulness. We thank you in advance, Lord, for continuing to be a faithful God to this family. It is in your name, Jesus, we do pray. Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, we come now just to give you a word. As we go to the book of Ephesians, that second chapter, the eighth verse, there's something that popped out when I heard about Mr. Carter's passing. It says, For my grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. For we are workmanship created in Christ Jesus unto God's work, which God hath before ordained that we should walk with him. When I thought about this brother, I thought about God's masterpiece. He was a creator. He was an artist. He was one who was able to see things and do things. And, and, and I thought that was amazing. Listen to this word right here. It says, life. Is a life is not a puzzle to be solved. Life is a masterpiece that you create. Some of the greatest masterpieces of art are created against the odds of reality. Your soul is the paintbrush. Your world is your canvas. Your life is the masterpiece. In other words, that each one of us right now, as we're living, we we are now painting a portrait. I was told that he likes to, 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 to paint and his wife would bring something in and he would take that and put it on canvas. Brothers and sisters, that's a, that's a gift. That's a jewel. Understand something just like with carpentry and everything that we build, it comes from vision. But God's masterpiece, and one thing that we all must understand that we didn't come this way to stay. But in the midst of it, 
What are you creating? What, what are you sustaining? Sometimes you will never know the value of a moment until it becomes a memory. Watch this right here. You will never know the true masterpiece until it becomes a memory. Right now that while the blood is running warm in your vein and right now as you're able to see and understand, now you have a masterpiece in front of you. Now it's time for you to work on your tabernacle. I pray, my brothers and sisters, that you will continue right now in this, in this moment and in the days ahead, continue to hold on to those precious memories because they will linger, they will give you hope in difficult times, be able to stand and understand something that God did not bring you this far to leave you. And so he will give you comfort. Understand this masterpiece was one that was able to be created because God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believed in him shall not perish. The reality of that is because he believed, because we believe and because we love that this is just a resting place. Now they're able to see the fullness of all that God has done and understand something that masterpiece now is priceless. Let me say that one more time. Their masterpiece now is priceless. There is no reward. They have. They are now resting from their labor. So I tell you, and I ask you, and I encourage you to cherish the masterpiece that you have. Allow them to be on the, the tablets of your heart. May you always be reminded of the joy and the things that you shared and always hold to God's unchanging hand. Amen? Amen. So we pray that y'all would be encouraged and you be confident and a life well lived. Job said it best. Man that is born of a woman is of a few days and full of trouble. Watch this, y'all. The struggle is real. But in a masterpiece, it's all created with the master's hand. Amen? We would now have the committal. Well, the military. Good morning, everyone.
as much as it has pleased Almighty God and his wise providence. We're taking up the world, the soul of our deceased brother, Brother Elvin Kelly Carter. We therefore commit his body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, looking for the general resurrection in the last day and the life of the world to come through our Lord Jesus Christ who second coming in glorious majesty to judge the world. The earth and the sea shall give up the dead, and the corrupt of the bodies of those who sleep in him shall be changed. They made like unto his own glorious body, according to the mighty working whereby he is able to subdue all things unto himself. I hear the voice from heaven saying unto me, Right from henceforth, blessed are the dead who die in the Lord. Even so saith the Spirit, for they rest from their labor. Let us repeat the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Amen. As we come to the end of this celebration for Brother Evan Paul, the first we thank God for the gift of Brother Paul. We thank God for the joy he gave, for the joy he received, for the many lives he touched as he touched. As it's been stated, he did all he could for as long as he could. Therefore, there is a friend of the third step to forgive. We thank Pastor Austin for taking time to come to your company with this thing. We thank the United States Army for coming and being. this service know that God has everything under control. I'm reminded of the psalmist when he said that when peace like a river attendeth my way, when sorrows like sea billows roll, whatever my lot, thou hast taught me to say it is well. Now may the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ rest rule and abide with each of us henceforth and forevermore. Now may the redeemer of the Lord say amen. 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 Family members, we ask you to please rise, turn to your left, return to your vehicle so that we may prepare for the entrance.